all, let us look at the causes of reading problems as opposed to writing problems. On average, a quarter of children find learning to read difficult. There is a tendency to think that these children are not very bright, but this could not be further from the truth. I have known many highly intelligent children who have had problems learning to read, and vice versa. Now, in order to understand why some children struggle, it is necessary to know a little about methods of teaching. And there are basically three methods. The first one is whole word memorising. That is being told the word and learning it by its shape. The second is synthetic phonics. And that is learning the letter sounds from the beginning and how to read words by blending the letter sounds, which is known as decoding. And the third one is a mixture of the above two methods. There is no doubt that the whole word memorising method is the least effective for teaching children to read. Synthetic phonics is the most effective and using a mixture of the two methods reduces the effectiveness of the synthetic phonics, particularly for those children who struggle. Now teachers know very well that in each class there is a group of children who learn to read easily, whatever the method of teaching is used. A group who learn steadily and gradually succeed, and a group who struggle and frequently fail. I have often asked teachers why they think this happens when the teaching is basically the same for all the children. And their replies tend to be that the children who struggle are not mature enough, come from a poor environment, have not had stories read to them, are not interested in reading, are poor at speaking and listening, are limited in their vocabulary, do not have English as their mother tongue, have parents who are not willing or able to help them, or even have parents who are too pushy. The list goes on and on. All these explanations may have some validity, but to my mind they are not the main causes of the children's difficulties.